All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about reading and writing pixels using OpenCV and Python. So we're going to talk about what is reading and writing pixels. What do we mean exactly when we say that? We're going to talk about why we need to read and write pixels. We're going to talk about how, how do pixels get read and written. And then we'll go into some coding examples, reading and writing single pixel values, and then reading and writing regions uh, of your image, okay? So that will be the more interesting one. Okay, so what is reading and writing pixels? So usually when you have an image, there's going to be some region or a single pixel you're interested in, but most, most of the time it's gonna be a region. So you may be interested in looking at this area and you want to see, you know, what's going on in this area. So to know what's going on in this area, we need to examine the pixel values, and then we'll talk about how we actually look at that. But if you recall from the previous uh, videos, we mentioned that we have an RGB channel. So even though here we see an image, there's actually three layers of data behind this. Okay, so why do we need to read and write pixels? So the main reason why you want to do that is you may want to interpret parts of the image. So like we mentioned earlier, uh, you have your RPG channel. So maybe here we want to see maybe the texture of the fur or uh, maybe the breed of the cat. So you might want to examine the uh, hair patterns, for example, or maybe this the eyes you're interested in. So there might be different parts of the image you're interested in. And then you will maybe you want to save it for analysis later, uh, maybe some uh, post-processing to see if this kitty has been good, maybe by looking at the expressions or something of that nature. Okay, so when we actually look at the region, uh, what we're actually looking at is the pixel values. Okay, so here we have three layers, and all of these three layers represent the BGR channels uh, if we're looking at OpenCV. So um, when we access these values, we can see the actual pixels value that corresponds to this region. Okay, so that will give us some information. And then if we wanted to do any post-processing, we could probably modify these values. Maybe they go to zero or whatever you want to do with the values. Uh, maybe you want to convolve it with a filter, which is a concept we'll talk about later on. But pretty much once you get the matrices that represent the numbers, you could do anything you want with it. Okay, so now it's coding time and let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're gonna have our usual imports right here. We have our import CV2 as CV. And then we also have import OS and import, we're gonna do some plotting. So we're gonna do matplotlib dot uh, pyplot as PLT. So what we're going to do is have our usual if name, if I can spell, if name equals main. And we're going to call our function. So we're going to first look at read and write a single pixel. So def read and write single pixel. And we're going to call our function in here. So inside, what we're going to do is use our usual image that we've been using. So roots is os.get um, the path. And then the image path is going to be os.path.join. We're going to pass in roots. And then our folder was demo images. And I called it qpic1.jpg. So we're going to read in the file, so image is cv.amread, and pass in the image path. And then from there, we want to actually uh, convert it to the BGR to RGB, because we're going to do some plotting with um, the matplotlib, and the matplotlib actually takes RGB. So we're going to do some quick flipping with the channels. So we're going to do cv.cvt color and then pass in the image, and then the integer will be the color code conversion. So color, uh, color, uh, we do BGR to RGB. So we're gonna do plt.figure, 
and then plt dot um, show. And the reason I'm using this is because with the cursor we get to actually see the values, the values of the pixels. So that's pretty nice. So uh, when I run this, you'll see a window pop up uh, with the cat. So notice when I hover my cursor, you can see the values at the bottom, which corresponds to the pixel values. But uh, this is very useful if I want to you know, access a specific pixel value. So if I want to go somewhere in the eye, um, I could choose some number, then I could see the exact pixel for the eye. Okay, So I could try doing that here. Uh, if I were to say eye pixel, and let's just choose a number that was near the eye. So we're going to access the pixel by saying 312 by 350. So this will allow me to read the value. So if I debug here 1, we could see what the value is. We'll see how that value is being stored here. Try that again, debug. So notice that iPixel is going to be an ND array with three values. Okay, so here I'm specifying two values, and then it's going to return me the actual um, RGB values. Okay, and again, it's RGB is because we've inverted or switched the channels here. Okay, so now maybe we want to modify it or write a value to the iPixel. So what we could do is um, access the values here, so 350. And maybe we want to make this value, what do you guys think this color is? So 25 is bright in the R channel, so it's going to be red. So if I plot this new one, I'm do it before and after plot. So if I plot this now and run it, we should see the first image is the same, but the second image, if I zoom into the eye, we should see a red speck. Okay, so this red speck is because we modified the pixel value of the eye. Okay. Okay, so now what we want to do is access a region of the image. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make a new function for that and call it, what do you guys think it's going to be called? Read and write pixel region. Okay, so this be our function name. I'm going to comment this out and then uh, call our region, region function here. And then we're going to do some of the similar stuff like we did, which is reading this goodie. And then now we have we read the image. Um, I'm going to use the same plotting, so we could plot the image here. And then now we actually want to do something interesting. So uh, we want to extract the eye region. So if we take a look at our image, and again, this is why I like the I'm show from PLT. We could see the eye region is roughly from here to here. So um, notice the upper corner is like 302 to 270 ish. Bottom is just like 390, 352. So I actually have these values down already. So we're going to do I region equals IMG RGB. And then to access a region, we could do 290 to 340 and then 326 to 380. Okay, so. Again, this part could be confusing sometimes if you mix your X and Y, because here we're actually ac accessing the rows and then the columns. So this is actually the Y and then the X. So if you if you just do one way and it's wrong, just try flipping it. Okay, so that's the best way. So that's my I region, right? And I can actually see my I region um, if I were to, to put a debug here as before, or similar to what we did, put a breakpoint and run this, we'll see what the I region um, variable is here. We can see it's an ND array, and you can see that 
um, I can also view it using the view value and data viewer. So this will show me the all the pixels inside this region. So we could see that we could slice this data here. And if we want to just look at one of the channels, say the first channel, I could apply this. Then this gives me a nice view of the data. Okay. So I'm going to go back here. Now, perhaps you want to write some value. So uh, here, what I want to do is um, I have some region. So maybe I want to copy the I somewhere. Okay. So I'm just going to do something funky. So I could do dx equals 340 minus 290. So that's going to be uh, my region. And then I have dy equals 380 minus 326. And then I'm going to have a start x. So that's just the area that I'm choosing. I'm actually going to put it somewhere on the forehead. And then I'm going to put 238. It's the start location, and then the start Y is going to be, I have set at 411. So I could do IMG RGB, and then I could uh, specify some locations, start X to DX, and then I could have start Y to start Y plus DY, and I could set that to the I region. Okay, so... If I were to plot this new image, what I'm actually doing is copying and pasting the eye to the forehead. So this will be a three-eyed kitty. Okay, so if I close this and if I zoom in, you could see that this cat now has three eyes. Okay, so a little bit creepy, but yeah, it seems like it's working. Okay, so that's how you write, read and write regions of pixels. So if you found this video helpful, Give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.